We are joined by Hamilton Daly. Hamilton, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. To have a Caribbean day doesn't require mm. a, a, a CARICOM. We would like CARICOM to be leading on this issue. Now, there is six million people um, in the English speaking Caribbean. Yes. And there's at least six million outside living in the US and they're, they're, they're children, children, and this goes on forever. It's, it's generations infinitum. It would be good for something like a Caribbean day to sort of galvanize us, pull us together, playing cricket, having a special occasion. Are you going to have an event soon? Is there an event coming up? We, we, the, the movement is creating the opportunity right. for commerce. Yes. So if you have a day which will, like a Valentine's Day, the, yes. the global economy for Valentine's mm -hmm. Day is, is 30 billion. The global economy for Christmas Day is 400 billion. Wow. Global economy for Black Friday is 51 billion. That mm. only started in 2009. Yeah. So if we had a Caribbean Day which attracted commerce and econo mm. economics, to, um, economics to the Caribbean, yes. it would open opportunities to engage in commerce and that's, it, it creates opportunities. So So it's something that our people, when I say that, African people yes. of the African Caribbean yes. region, needs to really widen their minds. So.